Hello, what's up YouTube? Today I'm gonna switch fans on a Behringer NX4 6000. Uh, on this one there are two fans behind and I'm gonna show you how to do it. It's easy but I will show you everything. Alright, let's start with the top. I have removed six screws already. And it's just to lift up and see what we got. I forgot to tell you, I'm going to use the uh, Noctua NF-A8 fans. They are quite good. I have tried them those many times. All right, let's see what's inside. The fans we are going to remove and insert new ones are this one and this one and the connectors are this one and they stick on these two that's the hardest part to change these two but it's not as hard as I tell you will see first we have to remove those eight screws All right, I have now removed seven of the screws and I now take the last one. I normally have a place to put them so I don't lose any screws or anything. All right, then we can see the fan is loose. So we have to be careful and pop it out and that's not easy with one hand. I will need two hands for this one. Uh, I needed to take these wires and take them away from the fan. Then you see the fan is loose and it's easily to, to pick it up. Like this. And then you see the small red wire. I think now we have to take off the clips. Uh, so we can get uh, the fan completely out and then I will remove these clips like this one this one and I will take off this one and this one okay the strips are removed the next step is to remove the glue the yellow yellow stuff remove this so we can take it off then I have removed this first one and in this case I didn't get uh, the socket I think it's called socket in there and uh, I just got the connection up but in this one I just I didn't take off all the glue and then you see I just took it out like this and then you see we have a two pin uh, please remind uh, to have a look at um, the red one which uh, which is the red and which is the black you need to know that later all right then we can take take out the wires on both of them And then we have removed them. It's smart to, to keep them in case you, you want to change back the fans. Here are the new fan. Um, they come with some different connection. Um, and I haven't looked at this yet, but one of those is the one that is more quiet than the other. Um, you will have to see which one uh, that will fit because um, sometimes uh, the fans don't stop they, no they don't start uh, when you start up the amplifier because it's too small vol voltage I think so then you may try it and you may need to to, um, 
to change uh, the connection. The next step to insert the fans is to make sure the fan blow the right way. And uh, as you see on top, it says it blows this way. And it should be mounted like this. The air should, co should come from behind and out of the amplifier in front. Um, I have now put the low noise adapter on. And I will try that one first, uh, if the fan starts. Um, also, um, as you may see, uh, I have painting on my nail, it's nothing else. Um, as you see, uh, these are three cables. We are going to use the black and the red. And re remember, the red is the first one. To, and just to connect it. Needs two hands again. Okay, uh, as you have the connection, you see the yellow one is on there, and you see don't see the other one. Just pull it a little bit back, and you see which one is the red and black one. We have only used this one. And now connected the power, and then I will turn it on, and let's see if the fan will start. No, they don't start with a low noise connection. I will take off the low noise adapter and use the normal um, extension cable instead. Okay, as you see, I have inserted the long uh, extension cable. And then we will try to see if this panel will start. Yes, they do. So don't use the low noise connection, use the extension cable. All right, uh, that's all. Then uh, we need to, yeah, one more thing, uh, how to, to uh, screw them back together. I forgot uh, some things. Use glue uh, on this connection because they are very loose. So glue them uh, so you have a good connection also you can uh, strip uh, the cable so so they stay on a safe place also when you're going to insert the fan you can use the originally screws or you can use uh, the rubber uh, things that comes with the package should be more silent but uh, I think yeah uh, this will do and use the old uh, screws. It's quiet anyway. Okay, that's all. Just uh, screw it back together and uh, plug it in and use it in your home uh, cinema or studio. All right, bye for now.